Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're actually outside for once. Makes a change, doesn't it, in lockdown. You know, I'm trying to get out, do a little bit more walking so when the car boots, you know, reopen and all that good stuff, I am ready to be able to walk all the way there and back. That sounds stupid, but if you've been inside for however long this lockdown's been and then you try and pull a trolley an hour both ways, it's uh, not going to end well, so yeah, I am trying to condition my legs just a little bit. Getting out every day, doing a little bit more than I normally would during lockdown. And today I actually have a package, well, package. It's a large letter. It's going to be dropped off at the post office. Um, so I thought I would go and do that today. And uh, the post office is on the high street, so while we're there, we are going to check out the condition of the charity shops. I know that one has sadly closed, so that will be empty, but we will have a look at it and see what it is like. And I do apologize for the wind. It's probably very windy right now on this video. The wind is crazy. Well, the sun is out, but the wind is out too, so I do apologize. But yes, that's what we're gonna be doing. And then uh, when we get back, I'm gonna be showing you some stuff that I picked up. So yeah. Uh, fun video hopefully so if you like it do, do drop a like feel free to subscribe check out the website slothshop.shop all my links are available on there Instagram discord both my eBay's my Etsy all that good stuff and uh, yeah I'll see you guys when we get to the post office shall we now let's go What the hell happened here? That wind must have got it. Right, let's hope there's not a queue outside the post office. Is there a queue? Nope. Good. Good, 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 good. Wouldn't think we're in a lockdown with all this traffic. Hi, just this one to drop off if possible. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. What are you telling for commenting the stupid thing? Thank you. So yeah, this used to be a charity shop. But it is gone, unfortunately. Are we still recording? We are. Yep, this one is sadly gone. They have repainted it in there. It looks quite nice. It's a big space. Huh. I could do with a space like that. This one doesn't really have much in the window, per se. Yeah. Lots of stuff left over from Christmas. Saturday the 19th of December this closed. Huh, shame. Restaurant. 
glorious sushi. I don't eat sushi. I don't eat sushi, so that restaurant is uh, irrelevant to me. Here we go. Age UK. Again, not been updated since Christmas. So they've not been able to have anyone in by the looks of it. John Travolta record or something. Yep. Nothing's happened in there for three months. Crazy. Crazy three months, man. It's uh, wasting our lives, bro. Three more months. Two more to look at. anything in this one it's too dark soon not long fingers crossed more stuff in this one this is my favourite charity shop in the in the in the village, for sure. So weird to think that no one's been in there for three months. It's gonna be so dusty when they get back in. And then this one's not really a charity shop. I don't know what this is. Stupid van stopped in front of me. Oh, that's still working in there. So I just got back from 
the post office and the high street as you will have seen um and yeah i got these yesterday and they're really cool uh so i thought that i would do a little in-depth video uh during this video just to you know extend this video a little bit for you guys give you a little bit more content and i really really like these so these are spanish made copper uh pencil sharpeners now obviously pencil sharpeners probably aren't that interesting normally uh but these just look really cool obviously they're made to look antique uh they're made to look really old and uh you know there's stuff like grandfather clocks lamps typewriters uh that kind of stuff and obviously they do all have you know an entrance point for a for a pencil to be sharpened but what I really like about these is the fact that most of them, if not all of them, have movable parts. So, as you'll see here, this is a uh, this is a water pump. So obviously the the pump uh, goes up and down. I'm actually just going to set you guys up on the table a bit so I can actually have both my hands to to show you this because. So yeah, as you can see, this one here is like a, a water pump. So this one, squeak, 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 squeak. Uh, that's pretty cool. The lamp doesn't do anything really other than have this little handle, but yeah. Uh, this one here is like a an old school blowtorch, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure what works on this. Oh, there you go. The little oil pump works on this. Um, we have the grandfather clock that actually has a movable ticker inside. The one that I find the coolest, or the one that I find second coolest, is this little clock here. So this obviously just looks like a standard clock, right? And then if you turn it on its side, you can see it actually has gears. And then on the back, it has this little handle. Which way does it go? This way. You turn it anti-clockwise. And what happens is it ticks, and the, uh, the hand actually turns around. How cool is that? really cool that one's really really cool and then you have the cannons the cannons actually fire believe it or not so this is a standard um cannon from the olden days and uh, yeah there's a piston in the back so you pull the piston pin out like this and then there's a quick release here and it pushes through so if you have something really small you can put it in the end and then, uh, and then when you do that, it does actually release. I put a little bit of paper in there yesterday to see how well it would work. And I actually shot it across the room. So, yeah, I could just imagine me in, like, secondary school with one of these, just, like, firing, like, tissue balls at, like, people in the class and stuff because I was a pain. Um, but, yeah, we have, uh, we have a chest here. It's pretty cool. That one just opens up. We have some old school scales. Hang on a second. These old school scales, so these actually like self level, which is pretty cool. I don't think, oh, they do actually work. Hang on a second. If I put like a, <laughs> they actually work. These scales actually work. Look. That's so cool. That is so cool. I didn't realise it actually worked. I knew that the thing moved along, but I didn't realise it actually weighed stuff. Obviously, you're not going to get a reading off of that, but yeah. Uh, we have a uh, a typewriter, which is pretty cool. It's got all the letters on. QWERTY keyboard. And then this does obviously slide across. This is the, the next line slider on a... Uh, does that spin? On a uh, typewriter. A lot of you guys watching this are probably too young to even have seen a typewriter in real life. They weren't really a thing when I was growing up either, but people did kind of like have them as decoration in their house. Uh, not really something you see these days, but I have found them uh, while, you know, doing picking and buying stuff. Uh, these are old cine reels, so I uh, have two of these ones. Not a lot happens on this one. The uh, The tube moves back and forth. Uh, but that's about it on that one, but still pretty cool. Uh, we have another cannon here. This is a nice one. This is a heavy one. So obviously you have the the little pin that comes out. And this one does fire as well. So if you actually move this one around, you can poke the, uh, the pin in the end with... There we go. 
So now that is loaded, so you'd pull that back like that. And then when this pin goes in, woo, it shoots out. So again, you could use this one in school to like fire stuff at people. <laughs> This is pretty cool. We have a bell that actually works. Yep, so you'd get the annoying kid in school just sat there doing this all lesson. But miss, it's my pencil sharpener, miss. I'm just sharpening my pencil, miss. Uh, we have a catapult, which does actually work. So you load this back. You put your little ball on there, or whatever you're going to fire, and then fire across the room, right at the teacher. We have a gramophone, which has a handle. I don't know what this... Oh, this actually turns the... Uh, so you can put the... Does that go all the way across? There you go. Like that. But yeah, just thought that I would uh, show you some of these because they're pretty cool. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. The others are all pretty similar, so not really much to show on the other ones. Um, this one actually has a working drawer. We have another cannon. This one doesn't fire. Um, have this, another iron and a boiler. This one's pretty cool because the uh, sharpener's in the top, so yeah. Those are my sharpeners that I picked up. I want to pay £20 and they're worth like £5 to £10 each. So uh, pretty good find. There was 26 for £20. So uh, happy with that one. All right, guys. So a little bit of an extra clip for you guys in today's video. Uh, I've been meaning to share this with you for a while. Now, one of the things I dislike the most about reselling is the stickers that you get plastered on stuff you buy when it's second hand, whether it be a game or a puzzle or something like that. You get this like residue and you get stickers like these that are a pain to clear off. And I have tried pretty much everything that I have seen online to help with removing of these kind of uh, stickers and labels and gunk and all that kind of stuff. So I have tried peeling them off with my hands, with my fingernails. Obviously that's the starting point. Uh, some people use um, alcohol to remove it, special alcohol. Uh, some people use stuff like gunk remover. There's like special stuff you can get, which just like, it's fine for like a DVD case, but on like a puzzle because it's got like damp in it and that kind of stuff, it can, you know, it can do some damage. So you have to be very careful. Now I watched a video where someone had uh, a special scraper that they had bought in America and they're called um, Scotty Peelers I believe they're called but they're not available in the UK if you want to buy them they're about £17 I believe shipped over from the US and obviously that's a lot of money to buy for a little scraper uh, that you know is going to take off the labels for you and apparently they've not made their way to China yet so they're not producing them in China so you can't buy them off like AliExpress or anything so I went searching online for something that I could buy in bulk for a cheap price uh, so that I can pass it on to my viewers uh, for nice and cheap. So yeah, I found what's inside this box. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate, demonstrate to you guys today how this works. Now I'm going to be selling these in packs of five so if anyone wants these uh they will come in packs of five which i think is a decent amount they last for quite a long time i've been testing them uh, and they don't go blunt or anything they're not dangerous they're not going to cut you or anything like that so what we have in here is actually uh plastic razor blades so that sounds pretty dangerous right but obviously they're made of plastic not sharp metal so we have bright orange ones and we also also have black ones. So if you want orange or you want black, I have both. But yeah, these are pretty sharp, but obviously they're not going to cut you. Um, you can, you know, do that all day and it's not going um, not gonna to hurt you or anything. But the reason why these are good is because they have a really thin blade. Um, so I don't know how well you're going to see that, but very, very thin. So these actually help get underneath 
without damaging because they're so small you can hold them tight um, and as you can see there I don't know how well you can see let me zoom right in for you this is a pain to pick off with my finger right but with this you can just simply go like this and it gets right underneath those labels so that was a bit of residue that didn't come off the first time I picked it uh, that got stuck on there so yeah you can just do that and you can nice and remove it so this one here has a CEX label and uh, yeah these can be hard to get off of your fingers sometimes so we're going to um, just blast it for like 10 seconds so now we take our little blade here Oh, look at that. And it's actually made it sticky again, <laughs> which is nice. And then you can just clean that up. So we do one more. Let's just make sure this isn't... See, this is kind of coming up there we go this one was coming up without the need of any heat so this won't cut through the plastic or anything unless you're obviously jabbing it or something that one came up quite nicely let's have a look at this one is this one yeah that one's just ripping so let's have a look There we go. So that one will come up with the blade, but is a bit stuck on there. So we will just give it a little blast. Now this case is completely battered anyway, so probably won't even sell this one, but there we go. Much better. Let's go in from this side. There we go. There is a bit of residue left over here, so you can get that off with like a wipe or something. But yeah, these uh, CEX labels are notorious for for doing that. Yeah, that just wipes off like that. We now have some games that don't have uh, stickers on anymore. You can probably get this residue off with this as well. Let's have a go. See if we can manage that. There we go, without any heat or anything, that just peels off. A hundred of each, so I think what I'm going to do is sell them in sets of five. So five black or five orange, or I'll do like two black and two orange or something. I'm going to sell them at like something cheap, like 50 pence each, and then the shipping on these is not going to be expensive at all like probably they're so thin they can go as a regular letter so i don't know what the minimal postage cost of that is with something like royal mail uh, but i'll figure that out uh, the link for these will be in the description if anyone wants them uh, they're probably going to be sold on etsy just because i can link that straight to my paypal uh, not my paypal i can link that straight to my royal mail account and get the shipping done easier so yeah uh what you will receive is five uh but yeah i'll probably do two pounds on a set of five plus postage so whatever that works out as 40 pence each or something so yeah if you want some of these they're very good they're helpful and uh as far as i can tell i've been using my orange one now for about two weeks uh and they're not going blunt so this is the same as a, a brand new one so yeah this is going to last me a long time and it's nice and my black one as well here still nice and sharp so yeah these are going to last a very long time and they're very helpful to get off sticky little labels and uh 
yeah if it's not 100% getting off you can just add a little bit of heat with like a hairdryer or a heat gun or something like that obviously a proper heat gun is a lot quicker uh, the hairdryer you have to hold it there a little bit longer uh, but it does get the job done in the end so yeah thought I'll just add this into the video in case anyone was uh, after some uh, the link will be in the description and you can buy them directly off of my Etsy uh, that's if they let me list these I don't know whether they'll let me list them or not I'll have to list them under like a secreted name like label remover vintage <laughs> but yeah um, they will be listed and uh, available when this video goes live all right guys thanks for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please do drop a like feel free to subscribe if you are new remember the link to the website sloth shop dot shop all of the relevant links are available there from etsy to both my ebays to discord and instagram you can find everything on that one link and uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching